Hey everyone, it's Natalie. So today's gonna be the, uh, what's in my bathroom video. So I was gonna do a what's in my shower video, but I don't have that many items in my shower. And I'll show you the shower real quick, just so you guys can see it. I've shown it one time before, I think. Uh, this is the shower. Oh, there's the shower head. And it has like a tub thing in it. It's very old. And there's some of the stuff. So I live in a dorm, so I actually share um, like a little apartment type thing with three other people, so there's four of us total. So we can't keep all of our stuff in the shower, unfortunately. So I have this little uh, basket right here, and this has my items in it. So I'm going to just show you everything that I have right here. These are all drugstore items, because that's just where I get all my stuff. I find it's, you know, convenient, just easy to get. So for body wash, I have three things right here. Um, two of them are almost empty. This one actually is. It's uh, one of the Suave body washes, and this is in Cucumber Melon, because I just love the way it smells. It's just, you know, a really fresh, clean scent. And it's, that one's smooth, just like soap. Then I have this one right here. Uh, it's another body wash by them, but it's an exfoliating one. So it has little like brown beads in it, and this one is an apricot and orange blossom. So this one's good, um, kind of rub it, yeah, exfoliate your skin. And then this one right here, which I don't know if I like it too much. It's one of the soft soap ones, and it's in Juicy Apple, but it's like red, like a candy apple red. So even when you put it on your skin, it's like red. It doesn't dye your skin, but I don't know. I think I just prefer lighter color, like body washes. I put it on my skin. It's just kind of weird. And it's red, so it, I don't know, reminds me of like blood or something. But I have that in there, so I thought I would show you. Then I have this one right here. Uh, is my shampoo and conditioner. I get lazy, and I know I should get a separate conditioner and separate shampoo, but this is, I mean, it keeps my hair looking alright. And it's this big bottle right here, Suave. So shampoo and conditioner for all hair types. And then it has a little pumper at the top, so that's kind of cool. I can just like put so many pumps in my hand instead of just like pouring out the bottle into my hand. So it's really fast and easy to use. Uh, then I have for my face these two face washes right here. So this one I like to use in the shower. It's one of the facial scrubs compared to the St. Ives apricot scrub, but it's by Up and Up, so the Target brand. And yeah. So it has all these beads and it just really exfoliates your skin. So if you don't like using exfoliators that are kind of rough, then you may not like that. But I have really dry skin, so I like to do that because then after I take it off, it just makes my fin, uh, my, fin, my skin feel really uh, good and clean. Then I also have this one right here. This one I don't like as much. It's one of the invigorating facial cleansers. So it's supposed to be like that clean and clear orange citrusy one where it's supposed to like wake you up in the morning. Um, it doesn't do that for me. It doesn't wake me up, but it does smell really citrusy. The only thing I don't like about it is the texture. It's like hand soap, so it has that like kind of slimy texture. So even when I wash it completely off, it almost feels like I still have it on. So eh, that one's all right, but I thought I would show you since I have it here. Then. Of course, since I'm a girl, I have a razor for purposes, and a loofah to put the body wash on. And then these are some just bathroom items. So this is a soap that I've been using for my hands from Bath and Body Works. And I got this when it was um, from their sale, their Hello Yellow sale, I believe it's called. So it was a few dollars. And this is the Passion Fruit Colada. And it smells good, really fruity. And then these are some items that I use for my hair. My hair, I'm very low maintenance with it. Half the time I don't even straighten it. I did uh, today. But first off, if you're, you know, you go to school or even if you go to work and you're a person like me that like you tend to wake up when you don't have enough time, spray bottles are always good. Spray bottles with just plain old water. So if you wake up and your hair is like every direction you know you can spray the water on it and then just kind of brush it down to flatten it and then it'll dry and you know that'll look more decent than if your hair was going everywhere uh, then I have this brush right here like a paddle brush so this I like a lot to use with my blow dryer if I'm trying to dry my hair pretty quickly because you know I can get like the big section of hair and you can dry it 
like at that time. Uh, this is my blow dryer. It's very old. What is it? It's a Supermax Conair one. It's really old. Like I've had this thing since like junior high or something like that. Which I graduated uh, high school in 05, so junior high was a little bit of a while ago. Uh, then these are some other hair items. I have this Tresemme Fresh Start uh, Refreshing Mist. So this is supposed to uh, de or to neutralize odor. So from like the second day of hair, I guess if it smells, but I don't think most people have that issue. But it also gives it a little bit of a shine, just kind of a little bit of like a pick me up if you have like second or third day hair. And then also a heat protectant. This is by Pantene and Hmm, I have it in curly, and I'm not sure why. But uh, yeah, you want to have a heat protectant, especially if you like straighten or curl your hair a lot, just to protect it from the heat. And then I guess I'll show you my straightener. This is a new one I got because my other one broke. Um, it's by Remington. It's this blue one right here. Ah, uh, how big is it? I want to say it's like an inch and a half or two inches, but I really like it because thicker. I'm not sure if you can tell compared to my hair. It's like a thick one so you can straighten like, you know, a bigger section of hair and it heats up really fast. It heats up to 410 degrees and a lot of straighteners, you know how sometimes your hair will kind of get stuck in the side right here. I'll kind of like yank on it a little bit. Uh, this one doesn't do that. It goes through really smoothly. So I like that. Um, I got it from Target in December or around my birthday on. So I got it not too long ago, so I mean they should still have that there or something somewhere. And it was only around $20, so that's a really good deal. And I don't have my other straightener. I also have another straightener that's, you know, smaller for doing like curls and stuff like that for more styling it, but that is nowhere to be found right now. But that's just my quick little uh, what's in my bathroom type video, uh, drugstore edition. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like to do a video response, go ahead and leave that. And, yeah, leave me any questions or comments down below. I'll talk to you guys next time.